video the truth about the biggest breakthrough in the treatment of kidney disease of the last two decades. This medicine cuts down kidney failure risk by 39% in stage 2 to 4 of chronic kidney disease. Catherine here, today we're going to take a look at the most significant advancement in the treatment of chronic kidney disease I have seen in the last 20 years. This is a very innovative class of drugs that is going to save so many people from dialysis. These medicines to stop kidney disease were granted a breakthrough therapy designation which is a very fast FDA approval, not something you hear about every day. These new medications were in fact being tested on 4,304 participants with CKD when the Independent Data Monitoring Committee decided to stop the trials. These meds were so incredibly effective against the progression of kidney disease both in diabetics and non-diabetics that the FDA approved it immediately so that everyone could benefit from it because it can basically stop the progression of chronic kidney disease. What you can expect if you get prescribed this one is basically to halve your risk for the worst outcomes of kidney disease that are dialysis and death. Yes, I'm talking about the SGLT2 inhibitors class of medicines which includes Invocana, Jardians, Forexiga and more. Forexiga is the only one of these that is today approved for kidney disease patients without diabetes. And its FDA approval can be considered one of the most significant advancements in the treatment of chronic kidney disease in the last 20 years. This is because Forexiga was tested on people with kidney disease with a huge, impressive success. Now, Forexiga and the other SGLT2 inhibitors also come with a hidden danger you should be aware of. This is why today I want to share with you the truth about these incredibly powerful medicines. Are you taking Forexiga or another SGLT2 inhibitor such as Invocana and Jardians? Why or why not? Let me know in comment section and let me know what you think. Now, let's see why this medicine is the biggest breakthrough in the treatment of chronic kidney disease. What is Forexiga? Forexiga is a sodium glucose co-transporter type 2 inhibitor. Just like in Vocana and Jordians, Forexiga works to lower blood sugar and sodium by literally excreting them through the urine. This prevents said glucose and sodium from damaging the kidneys and other organs. In those with diabetes, controlling high blood sugar is key to prevent kidney damage, blindness, nerve damage, loss of limbs, and more. In those without diabetes, this also prevents rapid decline in kidney function, heart disease, and greatly lowers the chances of dialysis and death. And as we have seen, this can cut down the risk of kidney disease progression significantly. Forexiga received a breakthrough therapy designation from the FDA because study results showed in patients with kidney disease with or without type 2 diabetes a 39% reduction in the combined risk of dialysis or death. It also works exceptionally well for people with IgA nephropathy. This should be enough to consider it for any patient with kidney problems. Question. Who can benefit from taking Forexiga? Today, Forexiga is the only SGLT2 inhibitor approved for the treatment of non-diabetic CKD. All kidney disease patients in stage 2 to 4 can benefit from it. But it's also not the only SGLT2 inhibitor on the market. Jardians is a similar medicine that is not yet approved for kidney disease without diabetes, but that can be prescribed to treat heart failure. The other SGLT2 inhibitor you may have heard about is Invocana. All of these medicines can be used to treat diabetes, but Invocana in particular is approved for people without diabetes that need to lose weight. 
I believe that in the near future, all of these three SGLT2 inhibitors and more will be available for those with kidney disease with or without diabetes. In short, all SGLT2 inhibitors can significantly reduce the risk of heart failure in people with diabetes, lower risk of stroke, heart attack, and death from cardiovascular disease in people with type 2 diabetes. SGLT2 inhibitors may also promote weight loss and improvements in your blood pressure and blood cholesterol levels. Of the SGLT2 inhibitors available, only Farxiga can be prescribed to CKD patients without diabetes. Of these three, Invocana seems to be the one with more serious side effects, however, with reports to the FDA of ketoacidosis and related events linked to the medicine, always less doctors are prescribing it. Question. Why my doctor never prescribed this new medicine to me? In the phase 3 clinical trial called dapa ckd fark was tested on 4,304 participants with CKD, GFR from 25 to 75 or stage 2 to 4. The trial lasted 36 months and, well, the result of the clinical trial was so about the expectations. The Independent Data Monitoring Committee recommended stopping the trial because of the incredible efficacy of this medicine. What this means is that, in the last few months, all the nephrologists in the world have heard about this class of meds. So there are just few reasons why your doctor didn't prescribe this to you. First, maybe because they don't believe this medication is good for you. For example, if your GFR is lower than 25, you cannot take it. The other possible reason is the price. Because Forexiga is still only available as a brand name medication, it can be pricey. The current retail cost in the US is over $600 for a 30-day supply. Is there a cheaper alternative to Forexiga? Currently, SGLT2 inhibitors may cost up to several hundred dollars a month, depending on where you live, clearly, and on your healthcare insurance coverage. There are manufacturer copay coverage programs that bring the cost down considerably. So, if you are in the US, this medicine may be pricey for you. Good news is that prices are in slight decline at the moment. In some other countries, on the other hand, India included, there is already on the market generic dapagliflozin that is much cheaper than the brand name. Yes, this is the biggest drawback of Fark Siga, but there's more you should know about this medication. There is a hidden danger linked to Fark Siga that can put your kidneys in danger. Does Fark Siga cause kidney damage? One of the most common side effects of taking Forexiga is dehydration. Now, getting rid of extra fluids and sodium are intended effects of this medication, but if your fluid levels are too low, this may even lead to kidney damage. What to do then? Be particularly careful with your hydration. Bring a water bottle with you, drink during the day, and always stay hydrated. The other very common side effect is the risk of yeast infections. Forexiga makes you basically expel sugar through the urine. Many patients report increased urine output just minutes after consuming meals rich in sugar, but sugar in the urine can cause an increased risk for yeast infections. Some patients even resorted to follow diets with almost zero added sugars, and that may really help, especially in those with diabetes. So should you ask your doctor to prescribe Forexiga to you? Yes, if you have kidney disease and your GFR is more than 25, stage 4, ask your doctor to get you started on Forexiga as soon as possible. This medicine is already being prescribed to treat kidney disease all around the world, and it was proven to work on more than 4,000 test subjects. This medicine can delay dialysis by years, even in patients in stage 4 of kidney disease. Okay guys, there's another breakthrough I've talked about in one of my recent videos. This is a remedy that was actually tested on stage 5 kidney disease patients with an incredible result. They were able to avoid dialysis. If you want to learn more, watch my video up here. And this is all for today. 
Thank you for watching.